Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu nione salamu kwa mkono asante sana. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Kwanza watu wa Nyanza. Watu wa Kisumu na watu wa Kabonyo. Nasimama hapa mbele yenu kusema asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani. Hapa Kisumu Dala. Na mimi nataka pia niwashukuru. Nilikuja hapa nikaomba kura yenu na mkanipatia kidogo. Mimi nimekuja kusema asante sana. Asante sana. Sina namna hiyo? Na mimi nataka niwaeleze hivi. Tulikubaliana tukimalizana na mambo ya uchaguzi. Sasa tutaendelea mbele na mipango ya maendeleo. Si ndio? Na ndio leo mimi nimefika hapa. Kwa sababu tulikubaliana njia ya kubadilisha Kenya. Njia ya kubadilisha taifa letu ni kupitia miradi na mipango ya maendeleo. Si ni kweli jameni? Mimi nimefika hapa leo kwa sababu hapa Kabonyo mumengojea hii mradi vile gavana amesema miaka ishirini. Lakini mimi nataka niwahakikishie vile nimefika hapa leo nitarudi hapa kabla ya Desemba mwaka ujao itakuwa imekamilika. And I want to commit to the people of Kabonyo and Kisumu that we are embarking on this project and before December next year this project is going to be complete. Mpango yetu hii ya hii muradi ni kwa sababu uvuvi ni ya muhimu sana katika uchumi wa kuzalisha chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya. Fish is one of the items that is going to help us sort out the challenge of cost of living by making sure that we have adequate food in the Republic of Kenya. Na ndio sababu hiyo tumekuja hapa katika hii mradi na tu hapa tumekubaliana na serikali ya Hungary. Hapa tunaweka pesa shilingi bilioni moja kujenga hii eh, mradi kuhakikisha kwamba tutakuwa na fish pond kuhakikisha kwamba tutatoa hapa fingerlings mumesikia balozi akisema hapa tutakuwa tunatoa fingerlings milioni saba kila mwaka in the first year of operation alafu tukienda mbele tutaongeza ifike milioni kumi. na mpango yetu ni kwamba ili tuwe na samaki ya kutosha hapa ndio tutazalisha fingerlings tutaziweka katika zile fish ponds zingine katika sehemu hii na vile vile tutatumia katika restocking ya Lake Victoria hapa chini hapa Lake Victoria kwa sababu ya uvuvi tumepata matatizo kidogo saa zingine samaki inakosekana na ndio sababu hiyo we must engage in the business and in the program of restocking Lake Victoria and this project we are having here today is going to be part of the process of restocking Lake Victoria because as I have told you we are going to be uh, generating at least 7 million fingerlings from this project every year so that we can restock all our fish ponds in this region and also restock Lake Victoria for purposes of ensuring that we have adequate fish as we go along making sure that we have adequate food and we can reduce the cost of living in the Republic of Kenya. Tunaelewana jameni? Vile vile mbali na mradi huu wacha mimi ni watangazie pia ya kwamba katika ufuo huu wa ziwa la Lake Victoria tunajenga landing sites, fish landing sites zingine nane. Pale Luanda Kotieno Tumemaliza tayari fishing uh, landing site ya kwanza. Pale siaya pia tutajenga mahali inaitwa Witch Loom. Tunajenga pia landing site ingine hapo. Hapa Kisumu tunajenga landing site mahali inaitwa Asat na mahali inaitwa Ogal. 
na vile vile Homa Bay tunajenga landing site mbili na kule Migori tunajenga landing site moja tumekamilisha sori na ingine tutajenga so that we have at least eight different landing sites na katika landing sites hizo tumeweka pesa shilingi milioni mia tisa kuhakikisha kwamba all those landing sites are functioning in the next one year pale kwa hiyo landing site tutahakikisha ya kwamba kuna cold storage pale kwa hizo landing site tisa vile tule tutahakikisha ya kwamba kuna mambo ya processing na tutahakikisha ya kwamba tunapanga mambo ya BMUs tuhakikisha kwamba vijana na cooperatives wamejipanga vizuri tuhakikishe ya kwamba there is a marketing process that enables the fishermen the fisher folk and all the chain of fishing to make sure that we derive benefits from our fishing and we create market so that those who are involved can earn revenue tunaelewana jameni vile vile mukiwa hapa nyanza mimi pia nataka niwatangazie hivi mambo ya rice growing hapa haero tumekubaliana kama serikali ya Kenya ya kwamba hatuwezi kuendelea kuagiza mchele kutoka nje miaka yote ndio tumeweka mpango maalum tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunazalisha mchele hapa Kenya na ndio sababu we have a comprehensive program and we are going to work with the county government to make sure that all the rice programs here including the one called Kuja Pale Migori tutaianzisha upya ndio tuhakikisha kwamba tunazalisha mchele ili pia tupunguze gharama ya chakula watu wa Nyanza mimi nataka pia niwaeleze ya kwamba tunatumia karibu shilingi bilioni moja kuagiza mambo ya edible oil na ndio tumesema hapa Nyanza tunataka muzalishe sunflower na muzalishe eh, mambo ya hapana miwa ngoja na miwa kwanza taongea mambo ya miwa baadaye <laughs> mambo ya sunflower na mambo ya soya na tayari tumekubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba this year we are importing 500 metric tons seeds for sunflower and we are going to work with the counties of Migori, Homa Bay, Kisumu, Busia, Siaya tuhakikisha ya kwamba tunazalisha hiyo hiyo mambo ya mafuta ndio tuwaje kuagiza kutoka nje and we can give more revenue and more earnings to our farmers. Tunakubaliana? Vile 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 mumesema nyinyi wenyewe ya kwamba mambo ya miwa imekuwa na matatizo mingi. Si ni kweli? Sasa tumekubaliana tumekubaliana hivyo munisikize vizuri sawa kwanza hii miwa business imekuwa na matatizo kubwa sana ya madeni hapa miwa ya hapa chemelil hapa moroni hii ya miwani ile ya soni ya kule mumias pamoja na ile ya nzoya iko na deni ya bilioni saba. eh bilion 117 na ndio nimesema ili kuokoa hizi kampuni ya sukari nimesema ya kwamba hiyo bilioni saba tutaifutilia mbali kama serikali ya Kenya na tayari nimepitisha katika baraza la mawaziri na tayari imepitishwa kule bunge na sasa madeni hiyo yote imefutiliwa mbali ndio tuanze upya. Yenye mnanielewa? Na kwa sababu tumeondoa the biggest stumbling block to the uh, development and transformation of our sugar mills. Mimi sasa nataka nikubaliane na nyinyi ya kwamba tutafanya mpango na tumekubaliana na governors wenu, tumekubaliana na wabunge wenu on what we are going to do so that we can make sure that mambo ya kilimo ya sukari mambo ya kilimo ya miwa inafanywa kwa njia ambayo itafaidi wananchi na itatusaidia pia kuhakikisha kwamba viwanda zetu zinaendelea vizuri 
na vile vile tunapata mambo ya sukari ambaye imezalishwa na wakulima wa taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi nitarudi hapa hivi karibuni. Kwa sababu mambo ya miwa ni mambo ya muhimu and I committed myself that I am going to sort out this problem of mambo ya miwa kwa sababu hii miwa imesumbuliwa sana na watu wachache. Watu wakora matapeli na watu ambao wanajifanya wajeuri na wafisadi. Na vile nilitangaza kule Mumias. Niliwaambia hawa watu wakora wafisadi na watu wa bure ambao wanataka kuendelea kuteka nyara biashara ya miwa. Niliwaambia mambo ni matatu. Mambo ni mangapi? Mambo ni mangapi? Hawa wakora wote na wafisadi mambo yao ni matatu. Either wahame Kenya, waende jela ama waende wapi? Basi sawa. Ninyi kumbe mnajua. Sina namna hiyo? <coughs> so, mimi nataka vile vile niwaeleze hivi. Tunaelewana jameni? Mimi vile vile nataka niwaeleze hivi. Mbali na mambo ya miwa. Bado tuko na changamoto kubwa ya vijana wengi hawana kazi. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Si vijana wengi wanaangaika jameni? Na ndio nimesema lazima tuwe na mpango maalum ya kuhakikisha kwamba vijana wetu wanapata ajira. Na ndio sababu hiyo nimeweka mpango ya housing hapa Kisumu tayari tumekubaliana the first phase ya nyumba elfu tano na mimi nahitaji vijana elfu saba watakaofanya kazi ya housing phase one ya 5000 units hapa Kisumu. Vijana wa Kisumu muko tayari? Muko tayari? Ama nyinyi ni wale wa kuchagua jembe? Muko tayari? Mutafanya hiyo kazi? Mimi nitarudi hapa kabla ya Disemba kuja kuanzisha phase one ya housing ya Kisumu County. Vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba mbali na ajira itayopatikana katika mambo ya housing huyu wa walo nimemwambia lazima tuwe na mpango ya digital jobs na ndio sababu hiyo tumesema tutajenga ICT hub katika kila ward in every ward in Kenya we are going to have an ICT hub where we are going to have between 200 300 500 young people who are going to engage using the digital platform so that we can create digital jobs vijana wanaweza kufanya kazi marekani wakiwa hapa kabonyo nyenye mnanielewa tunaelewana jameni jambo la tatu mimi vile vile nataka niwaambie hivi ama jambo la nne nataka niwaambie vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba wale wafanyibiashara wote ambao wanafanya biashara wengi wanaangaika hawana masoko ya kutosha hapa Kisumu tutajenga soko ingine mpya nane hapa Kisumu County na tutakubaliana na governor wenu professor Nyangnyong na tutakubaliana na wabunge wenu na huyu senator wenu tushakubaliana na yeye vile tutapanga hiyo masoko yote hawa vijana na kina mama waweze kufanya biashara mahali kuna maji mahali kuna stima mahali kuna heshima ili tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba kazi ni kazi tumeelewana watu wa Kisumu dala tumekubaliana tuko pamoja mwisho kabisa mimi nataka niwahakikishie hivi eh, ngojea tu kidogo boss Eh? Mimi nataka eh Sondu Come on. Sondu Aya Maneno ya Sondu Ndio hiyo mimi nataka kusema mwisho Kuna watu wanaturudisha nyuma na kulete vita kati ya jamii na kati ya majirani Nishamwambia Profesa Kidhure Kindiki vile tumewakalia 
wale wa North Rift vile tunawakalia al shabab hawa watu wa sondu hapa watakiona chamtema kuni hatutaki sikizeni hatutaki mambo ya ujinga ya ukabila sisi tunaishi Kenya moja na serikali ya Kenya ni serikali ya kila mkenya mimi nataka niwahakikishie na tayari tumeweka mpango kamili na nimemwambia profesa Kindiki ahakikishe ya kwamba kila mtu ambaye alisababisha mwananchi akapotesha maisha yake lazima akamatwe na lazima apelekwe jela kwa sababu kuua mwananchi mwenzako ni mambo ambayo haikubaliki eh wanaweza kwenda hiyo safari ya tatu ile ya kwenda huko lakini watapitia kotini kwanza. Sina mla hiyo? Tunaelewana? Lakini pia pale Sondu lazima pia tujenge ile dam ambaye tulikubaliana. Viongozi wenu hawa wa bunge wameniambia ya kwamba ni vizuri tupange upya vile tutajenga dam ya Sondu ndio tuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya maji inapatikana kwa njia ya sawa sawa ndio tuweze kuzalisha chakula, mupate maji ya kutosha, ndio tuweze kwenda mbele pamoja. Watu wa Kisumu tumekubaliana jameni? Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Mimi sijakuja Kisumu mambo ya siasa. Mimi nimekuja Kisumu mambo ya maendeleo. Kwa sababu si... Eh, tumekubaliana, sio? Profesa amenisaisha kidogo na ni mzuri. Najua huyo mtu ni profesa mimi sijafika profesa. <coughs> Amenikumbusha pia kwamba tuko na Korusoin. Hapo ndio tunataka pia tujenge dam ingine. Kwa sababu hiyo Korusoin ilipatiwa na kandarasi lakini iko na matatizo makubwa kwa sababu ya mambo ya pesa. So tumekubaliana tutabadilisha hiyo maneno na tutahakikisha kwamba hiyo Korusoin kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tunabadilisha ile um, procurement model ndio tuhakikisha kwamba dunia inasonga mbele. Tumekubaliana? Mimi mwisho. <coughs> Mnataka barabara? Barabara. Aya. Nimesikia mambo yenu ya barabara. Na mnajua barabara ililete matatizo pale nyuma. Lakini katika budget yetu ya mwaka huu tumeweka pesa karibu bilioni miambili sabini. Mutangojea tu kidogo ni kusanye ushuru. Si namna hiyo? Si mnajua budget ilipi, ilipita miezi mbili iliyopita? Nitapanga vizuri lakini nimesikia vile mmeniambia na hii masikio imesikia mambo yenu. Nitaipangia. Kwa hivyo watu wa Kisumu mimi nataka niseme asante sana. Mujue mimi nawapenda sana na nawatakia baraka ya Mungu asanteni sana God bless you thank you very much